So let's export these things to a drawing. So here in... Uh, so now you are pre pretty familiar with this uh, project map which has these options for us. Uh, now we it's time to use the layout book. So we have a view map which saves views so we can actually save these views with the settings which we have just created. So that's the use of the view map. And for example if I say save view it will be saved within the view map and I can say that yeah, let's take this and instead of calling it the north elevation well why not call it the rear elevation it's okay so that will be created at the bottom of the view map so when we come here <coughs> in the layout book it's time to bring the things which you have put on the view map onto the layout book. So the layout book is what contains the default layout. So now we have the masters here and then the layouts here. So let's collapse everything like I have just done. Just collapse everything and then let's create our own. So let's create like a new layout. So this layout I'm going to make it an A3 perhaps. Let's output on an A3 and let's make this presentation one. Say create and that will be created of course it has been created in here we can remove it from that folder and just have it on the outside so all we want is to being able to bring things in so you can see that we are seeing something here and this something is what is in that master layout so if we go to a3 master layout this is what is there so when we delete this it will be shown in here so it will be updated and it will be removed so right here now we can put in the things which we have put for example this rare elevation if we bring it and drop it in here ah there it is nice and simple it will be dragged and dropped in so how we can resize like the way you can get a slab and rescale it so it's it's easy pretty easy to come in here and resize for this our drawing here. So if we come back here to like the south elevation, there's another way to bypass the save view. We can just we can just save and place on the layout, which will just bypass the process of the view map if you do not want to go through the view map you can actually save directly onto the layout so either way it's the same thing and i try to cut out the stuff that i don't need So as well you can adjust the scale of these things. So if I select this stuff and I go to the settings by Ctrl T, which you are, should be familiar with by now, we can go ahead and adjust the scales of each one of these. So under size and appearance, you can change, for example, here to 1 to 50. So this will make this thing bigger because it was currently 1 to 100. And uh, it's pretty easy. So now we have ourselves bigger drawings and bigger representation and these things are completely updatable so if for example we changed anything on the floor plan it will be automatically updated on this layout so let's for example uh, change what's being happening here on this rare elevation so if we come to the rare which is this other side and move this for example closer because I feel like we are showing too much terrain and now when we come to this layout book you can see that it should update here and remove this thing here good that's it so now it's completely updatable and it's pretty easy and good to work with
Of course, this would not be complete without a floor plan. So we, we need to bring the floor plan itself. And as well, we can put in dimensions. So how do we put in dimensions? Um, it's pretty easy. We can come here and uh, document and we just pick dimensions here. And you can go to the settings of it before you put it in to, to see what it will look like. So this is what it would look like. These dimension lines are usually crisscross and look funny. I like to keep them off. You can adjust to any kind of style that you like in terms of this style you like to see the text at. So say there are so many changes that you can work on. For now, we'll just use those and say OK. And then we can put in dimensions by clicking on the elements. So if we click on this wall, you can see those lines have been created. Click on this one, the signs have been created. Let's click on a point, see it's been added. And then we double click to place the dimension. And you can see that the hammer is just waiting for us to add it in here. So right now we have it in meters. The, 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 the dimensions are in meters. Here we can also reduce how big they are. I think we could make it 1.5 instead. And then we can change those dimensions by going to options, preferences, and dimensions here. So in the dimensions here, we can put in the millimeters by changing from play meter to millimeter. So say OK. And that should update. The decimals do not make any sense now, so we can actually go back here in dimensions and actually take this back to zero such that you have no dimensions in there. And we can export this file and we can do one more dimension, which is across. So we alt click to, to pick these attributes. We click, click and double click and place here this dimension. So in order to export this to layout, we can right click and we say save and save view and place on layout. There we are. We can place it anywhere across here. And that's really how you do this. And of course, like we said before, go to the settings and we are going to need it to likely be a 1 to 50 drawing. and the rest of the positioning styles are to your test that is it that is it now we can save we can save file save as and look for somewhere to put it on the desktop make sure to change to pdf and you can go in the document options and be sure to change to a black and white or to color since it's presentation color will work for us and we can save the entire layout we say okay and we are good so that is it thanks so much for being here with me